All right. How you guys doing? A bit under the weather? Probably because of the weather. But you know, when you have engines like this, it don't matter. All right. Which one is it? Hmm. Which one's running? I hope it wouldn't be that. Found it. I wasn't going to bother talking over it. Yeah, as you guys probably noticed, I cheated. Started off with that electric motor with the belt there, but, you know, that's only because the Kickstarter doesn't have a spring inside the paw there. But that's alright, $10 later I'll get one. Anyway, 1929, I almost forgot, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, 1929. Uh, Briggs and Stratton model FH. Ah, uh, not the best runner. Um, it has some weird little quirks, but it's running, and when I got it, it really was in bad shape, so. Looks like the original spark plug wire has some red, I don't know what you would want, insulation on it, whatever. Got your atmospheric intake valve over yonder. Ow, it's hot. Dang it. Obviously, exhaust valve. And nice stainless steel homemade uh, muffler from uh, Baggett Corner. Uh, 805 Road King hooked me up. Anyway, the uh, the shroud on this thing's in beautiful shape. Uh, sorry about the light. I have horrible lighting in the garage here. But yeah, I gotta get the Kickstarter working right. It's not quite working right. Got your cute cute little uh, choke here, and then your uh, kill button. Get a shot of this if I can. Maybe not. Anyway, has great compression, doesn't smoke at all. Just doesn't run quite right. Nothing's broken on it either. Mmm, pop metal carb. Oh, well, yeah, well, that's broken, but it doesn't affect how it runs. That's the only thing broken, and I can easily make that. Uh, stick it in a mill and uh, square that off make another piece out of either a cast or a steel and make a nice little weld and grind it down and maybe make it rusty again because I kinda like the way this looks rusty 
Anyway, this is what I do on a rainy day, or any day for that matter. Alright. When I got this engine at, uh, at Jackton, the engine show it actually was, it needed a lot of work. It wasn't seized up, but, you know, it was a little crusty turned over. It hadn't rained in forever. Didn't have a muffler, didn't have a breather. Uh, gas tank was full of crap. There was actually nice oil in it, real nice oil, and I don't know why it looks so nice. But the the biggest problem, well, maybe the wasn't the biggest pain in the butt. There's other big bigger pains in the butt. But uh, the the valves were very stuck, especially the exhaust valve. M water must have gotten through the port there, whatever you want to call it. And I guess the the valve being closed saved my cylinder from getting rusty and seizing up the piston. So I'd rather the valve stuck than than the piston. But anyway, exhaust valve was a pain in the butt to get on stuck. Uh, actually broke this. This valve came out of another Briggs 5S, I think, works with the FH models. Anyway, the original valve is here. I broke the the keeper, the very very bit of the keeper off there, with a because I have a little bit of a butcher's way, but I was ham trying to hammer it out of there after I soaked it for months and heated it up and whatnot. And I took it to my machine tool class. And I tried to grind another angle on there, but that didn't work either, so too much work in this little dumb valve. Actually, then I broke it off way down here where my finger is. I <laughs> actually put it in the vise and welded with my stick welder all the way up there and grinded it nice and flat, but it's a good good drawer pull or something. But uh, yeah, that this valve came out of a, a Briggs 5S, I think the model is. Just drilled a hole in there and put a cotter pin and didn't even have to lap it. And I don't know if you could hear that. It uh, seats pretty dang good, and like I said, it has good compression. The valves were a pain in the butt, like I said. Intake valve freed up real, real nice. Cleaned the head, uh, took the piston out, cleaned the rings, checked out the bearings. This uh, the backing plate inside here uh, for the mag was pot metal, of course. So was the flywheel. Over over time, they warp real bad. This one was really bad. Bearings wouldn't line back up when I put it together. That was a whole nother story. I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.